Hello everybody on the Cross TV around the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I have a very special edition of the show. That's I feel like I'm so honored to have the people with me right next to me right now. They are sitting in the set of the Cross TV. The values that they have in their heart, the vision that they have in their heart, the testimonies that make them go all the way to have the leadership of the movement, of the love of the people who have been persecuted, the people who have been having disaster in their life. And now they are getting their hands up and they are standing on their feet. There is a big, huge result and I need to welcome the people with me today. And I, I'm really, really delighted to have Ambassador Dabura Ganini with me today. Hallelujah. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you Thank very you much. The, the, the Jewish agency and I will let you talk about the, the, the thing that you have, the mission that you have, uh, what in your heart for the all the viewers welcome to the cross tv welcome Thank to you the very cross much. tv and as we know that the face will appear is not uh, it's not an um, a new face on the cross tv he is the man of god his name is dr william gray dr william gray welcome here to the cross welcome tv to you. <laughs> and you know his program is all about uh, the, the uh, how to become a good person how to become knowing Jesus Christ more and go deeper and deeper with the relationship with Jesus Christ and we have Pastor Mark hallelujah Pastor Mark how are you great thank, thank you for you, being Dr. with Joseph. us can you pronounce your last name Mark Gonzalez Gonzalez yes uh, and Gonzalez. he speaks he speaks Spanish very good he he is uh, uh, also he is the um, co-founder for Isaiah 19.org uh, Isaiah 19 ministry Isaiah 19 we all know about Isaiah 19 it's a highway between Syria Egypt and Israel together so today you're gonna hear a good stuff hallelujah and we have the founder of Isaiah 19 and we have ambassador Mina Holmes how are you Hi. Thank you for having us. And uh, really, when I met you, uh, I heard you a lot in the Cross TV. You came here for three, four times. But today, when I met you, I feel like you're a vision person. You, are, you have visions. But the, the good thing that I hear that you're touching these visions and make it to the reality. So thank, thank God. You. Thank God you are here. You. I'm putting the mic back to Ambassador Dabura. Ambassador Dabura, what's in your heart today? I, I'm really, when I sit in the back office hearing you, having this vision to help the people, to support the people who need the needs. They, they have a very severe needs there in Israel. And you are the one who, through the government, and you are taking their hands and stand. Tell us about you. I'm the one who is trying to build bridges between Christian, mainly, and Jews. We are going out there and asking Christian and Jews to be friends, bless each other, love each other, and help each other, and support each other. The Jewish Agency is the, Jewish, the biggest Jewish organization in the world. And we are now reaching out to Christian in the US, in Africa, everywhere. We want to be friends. We want to love each other. We want to send out the hatred. We want to have you, Christian, and us, Israelis and Jews, as friends. This is my mission. Friendship. Friendship. Especially between the Jewish and the Christian. It's your number one task. But also, I, of, I hear that you love everybody. You love of all. Of course, all. of course. I spent four of my life in Egypt. Egypt. Ooh. I love Egypt. I was living in Qasr el Aini, number one. Qasr el Aini. Qasr el Aini, number mm. one. In and you speak Africa. Arabic. Shukran, Habibi. Shuk <laughs> and I speak Egyptian. Okay. A little bit. And I love Egypt. And as Egyptian says, some, once you drink from the Nile, you, you become always <laughs> you become Egyptian <laughs> and you good. always love Egypt. <laughs> and you. I have many, many Muslim friends. Of course, Israel is free. You know, we mm. can pray. Every Muslim can pray yes. freely in yeah. Israel. All the mosques are open to everyone. All the churches are kept by the government. We have churches from 2,000 years ago and mosques, very old mosques. Mm. So... Religion is very open. And, and democra democracy is very... Very strong democracy. And, and uh, I visited there and I feel that people is, is freely uh, practice their religion. So, you know, uh, in the center of Jerusalem, every Friday, Muslims are praying mm. 
in the, in the mosque, in the main mosque, in the Al-Aqsa mosque, every Friday. Mm. And it's amazing. You know, it's so sensitive and mm. it's the center of Christianity, Judaism. Wow. And Islam. How many years, uh, Ambassador, the, the, uh, you have been doing this vision uh, with agency? With I, have, I have working with Christian uh, beginning 1993 with Pastor Benny Hinn. Pastor Benny Hinn, okay. He is a good friend of mine. I okay. began with him, but, mm. the, but the government of Israel, the Jewish embassy opened its door, really, to mm. Christian only four years ago, mm. just to officially say that we are open to cooperation between mm. Christian and Jews. And this is my first, uh, connection. My first connection here mm. in the U.S. And they're helping me a lot, Isaiah 19. Mm. You find good people like you, aren't oh, you, Zay? Thank you, thank and you. And Dr. William. Thank you. So you are willing to get more connection with the Christians as a Jewish uh, to, to align together to do the purpose. What is the purpose of agency? The, uh, the Jewish purpose agency? is to bring those Jews that were sent many generations out of Israel okay. back home. Okay. That they will be allowed to come home and mm -hmm. will, be, will have a home there. So how many numbers we, outside and how many now inside? Inside there are seven millions and mm. outside the same number, seven million. Mm. Half million in France, uh, three million or more in uh, USA, maybe more. Oh. Uh, some in the Arab countries still, mm -hmm. which we don't talk about mm. because we don't want to hurt them. Mm. Uh, and in Russia? No, in Egypt they know that there is a Jewish living in Egypt, already, not, but not, 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 uh, not uh, for everybody. But I think in Egypt there is not, maybe there is one Jew, maybe. Uh, uh, I knew them all when I was living okay. there and they all So left. they all fleeing? Yeah. yeah. But Egypt is uh, keeping the, the, pl the places, the synagogues, the oh, places, yeah. they, they are keeping it. They honor the Jewish re religion as well, as a, they yeah. call it a heavenly religions and the and there is very good relationship between the two governments, yes. between Assisi, Assisi, Assisi and Netanyahu, we and Netanyahu them all the time. And so I love Egypt. Uh, there is nothing that I can do about it. <laughs> you like the food there? I the like culture. the food. I mainly like the people. The I like people. the women there. We had mm. beautiful meetings about yeah. everything. We help yeah. each other and I help Egyptian businessmen to open gates in Korea, in Japan, oh, okay. in other places. Okay. And whenever I'll be able to come back, I will come so back. You mainly, so you're mainly supporting the people who like to find their home back inside Israel. Uh, and, and when it comes to the food, the shelter, uh, helping them until they stand in their peace. How you get the fun, how, how we like the people right now looking to the screen right now, if I like the mission that you have, how I can support, how I can be part of what you do. To bring one Jew back home, it's mm. around $3,000 per the first year. Okay. Because when he is landing in Israel, he has a home from us. Mm -hmm. And we are teaching him Hebrew, and we are teaching him the habits and how to behave and how to, to live in Israel. Okay. So all this orga organization, all this costs around $3,000. Okay. So you can make the calculation how much money is needed. Oh my God. Till now, all this uh, work that we are doing for 100 years already, the mm -hmm. Jewish Agency, mm -hmm. uh, we brought around six, seven million Jews oh. back to Israel. Mm -hmm. All Israel is full of refugees. Yes. We have people from Morocco, from Ukraine, Somalia, from China. Somalia, Ethiopia here. Yes, yeah. Ethiopia, black Jews. Okay. We have everyone, and this costs money, and the government does not have the budget for them. budget yeah. for it because everything goes to security. So you, you, you became like the first, like the, the most biggest uh, refugee uh, or the people coming back um, organization to support this cause in the whole entire world. This, uh, the, this organization got the okay, got the right. From the government. From the government. Okay. This is the official the body. The yeah. blessing. Even there is a special law done okay. by the Israeli government okay. which allowed the Jewish agency to do what it's doing. Okay. So this is the official arm of the government that brings the Jews back home and absorb them. Mm -hmm. On one hand, on the other hand, we are also helping the government to build the country. 
because uh, those pla uh, people need places to live, mm. to work, and to become education. useful for the country as well. Yeah. So, oh. wow, what amazing, what amazing vision that uh, um, Ambassador Deborah has, and we need to get, take an action right now. We need to take an action. We're not the people who just sit and listen. We need to take an action and support this mission. Dr. William Gray, uh, what's your thoughts about this meeting right now? You are the one who coordinates this meeting. Uh, I, we're so happy, Dr. Joseph, that. Ambassador DeVore is here and that she is sharing the vision. This is an amazing vision. And, you know, you just need to contact the studio here and uh, make your commitments to fulfilling Isaiah 19 and bringing the Jews back to Israel. He says, when you're a friend of Israel, you are a friend of God. Mm. And there is a blessing in bestowing a blessing when you seed into this ministry. Isaiah 19 and the Jewish agency working together as partners to fulfill the scripture in Isaiah 19. Read it. Take, a time, take the time to go read Isaiah 19. Thank you, Dr. That's Joseph. Good, that's good. And I'm going to Pastor Mark here to give us the, like, a brief idea until we get the mic to uh, uh, Ambassador Mina to tell us more about Isaiah 19, when the idea came, and uh, what's, what Isaiah 19 is all about, the vision. Well, the vision is, of course, in, in overall, mm. is literally the chapter of the Bible, <laughs> Isaiah 19, where it talks about that, that connection and that highway between mm. Egypt, Assyria, and, and Israel. Israel. And, and even though the, and the focus is, uh, at the end of the day, is also to bring the Jews back home to mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. But in that process, the Bible is very clear. Yes. There are some things that need to happen along the way mm. uh, in Egypt in Assyria, and then ultimately his inheritance is Israel. Oh, wow. And so that's where this connection comes forth. Uh, of course, during this time, we're here, you know, sharing the vision uh, of, of the Jewish agency mm. and the partnership between the Jewish agency and Isaiah, Isaiah 19, 19 Ministries uh, and making this uh, happen and take place. So we we're asking folks to just to, to partner with the cause mm. and at the same time get to know uh, Devorah Ganani who's again this window that's been opened by the Jewish agency to partner with the Christian world mm. and and to say uh, we love you we want to partner with you we know you have a heart for us uh, so let's come together uh, but at the at the same time we also know uh, as Devorah was mentioning is uh, for a Jew to come back home, you know, there, there's also uh, resources that are needed to yes. make that happen and accomplish that 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 mm -hmm. vision. That again, you're not just partnering with the Jewish Agency, you're mm -hmm. not just partnering with Isaiah yes. 19 or, uh, or or the television station. You're also partnering with God. That's God's vision mm -hmm. for this time. Mm -hmm. That's what this whole thing's about. And so God has brought <laughs> Mina and I together, and we're kind of been partners in 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 the Word. Amen. Okay, Not, Amen. and so in accomplishing this to take place, and we're seeing God move and open the hearts mm. of the people to realize it's a now moment. There's a kairos mm -hmm. right now that's taking place. Because mm -hmm. uh, everywhere we talk and we share the vision, everybody, God's had me on Isaiah 19. When we talked to Dr. Gray, he was like, yeah, God's been dealing with me. Yes. We talked to you, God's it's dealing with me. Right it's away. clicking. Yeah. And, you know, it, all over the world. So yes. now we have, in, you know, I won't mention all the countries. Okay. We have people all over the world that have joined, that are part of the mm, council, part of the vision, that are working with us to Amen. accomplish this. And and, and then ultimately bring the Jews back home to Israel. And that's what God wants. And when you do this, we can expect the blessing of the Lord to come on us. Yes. It's very clear. Yes. I will bless those that bless you, curse yes. those that curse you. But through you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So mm -hmm. let's partner with God. Mm -hmm. Let's get in the blessing. And let's watch what God's about to do. And we're excited to be amazing, a part of that vision. Amazing, amazing. Look at this beautiful picture, guys. Look at this beautiful picture. The people is coming from here, from here, from here for the values, for the real values and, we, uh, and the real commission and real mission that we're going to do it together. I, I feel like it's the beginning of the revival. It's the beginning of some movement to tell the people that we love the people who have been persecuted, the people who have been displaced from their own country, from their own houses. Can you imagine you are living in some place and you're not having anything there, and then suddenly the Lord, the God called you back to go back to your land. Who, what are you going to do? 
Like, like you need to believe like the face, like Abraham face, to come back to his land and, and stay there. And we have here Isaiah 19 founder, uh, Ambassador Mina, I'm so delighted to have you in the show. And I can feel that you have a lot of uh, on your heart. Here is the camera, please tell us what about the Isaiah 19. Well, I think I, I represent a lot of Christians in the world. Mm. And early on, when I saw the pictures of the suffering of the Christians in that region, mm. I was like, how can this be? What can I do? So usually we see some checks. Mm. That, was, uh, that was what was uh, happening with me. Mm. Until one day when my Egyptian friend told me, you know, uh, there's this 21 uh, Coptic Christians got killed, killed mm. in Libya. In Libya. And uh, what can you do? And I say, well, I don't know anybody, but let me try. So eventually he went to the congressman mm. and the chairman of foreign affairs asked, you know, helped us to bring uh, finances and uh, even condolence and the videotapes, mm. which end up giving to the Pope of a uh, Coptic church okay. there. And, uh, you know, so that was my involvement until uh, one day when I went to Israel, I was praying mm. in front of the wailing wall and that become more personal. The Lord showed me a vision of salvation. Mm. And that salvation is not just for us Gentiles, mm. for the Jews, Amen. for all the people on earth. This has to do, happen simultaneously. Mm. But this centers around has to have a, like a organization or focus group that can mm. help. Mm. So uh, the Lord has showed us the vision that we need to get together. And uh, so we have Isaiah 19 to bring a lot of resources and people and, uh, you know, a, a lot of puzzles to come mm. together. And our first project is to help out with Aliyah, mm. which is to bring God's people back to Jerusalem. Mm. And the Lord will reveal himself, his yes. mercy yes. Uh, to the Jews. Yes. And we will come together as Christian and mm. as Jews, as Muslim, mm. as one new man. Mm. And this is the vision of Isaiah 19, and uh, I'm appealing to especially the Chinese. Amen. Because, uh, yes, yes. yes, you're from Isaiah, China I'm, originally? I'm, I'm Chinese. Okay. And uh, Isaiah uh, 49, you know, especially talk about the mm. sinim. Oh. Yes, only one it's mentioned there. Yes, okay. Sinim there, yeah. the Chinese wow. has special <laughs> responsibility to be bridge, to be camel, to oh be the help. So I'm appealing to the Chinese around the world that you, I ask you to help. Amen. <laughs> uh, the, actually, what happens is I feel like uh, there is um, Isaac and Ishmael. They are, the sa they are from the same father. They need to come back together. But I felt, where, what about China? What are they going to do? What, is the, what are they going to do in the, in the picture? And now you answer me. Like, give me the answer. They are the, the reconciliation person. The bridge. Oh, like the oil the to bring them the together, oil. make it soft. So now, yes. just you smile and you bring them together. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ambassador Deborah, I'm so delighted to have you. And I keep asking myself, how you do this huge work? There, it's uh, for me. I saw your flyer that how big uh, you bringing that those numbers. You said that six million people have already have been uh, the organization have been helping them to place them back to their country. Three thousand dollar for one family. I think this is going to be affordable for any viewers to just send one. I need to support one family for one year to establish them back. But I need to 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 hear more details when you see them in the first coming from the airport or something? What? We don't see them coming from the airport. We have messengers, emissaries all there. over the world. Okay. And then we have a center, a phone center, mm -hmm. that everyone can call. Mm. And they, we need to check if they are Jewish or not Jewish. Okay. So there is a special law in Israel that is called the law of return. Ah. Who can return as a Jew okay. and who cannot? You and have how, to you, how you know this is Jewish or not? Yeah, right? we know. We know there are, you know, according paper, the rabbi of the community, okay. his behaviors, the languages, the Bible, okay. you know, the holidays. There are many things that can be done mm, can, to, know. Uh, to okay. know. Once we recognize him as a Jew, the Jewish agency is giving him a ticket and decided with him where he wants to go. Okay. Does he want to go to an absorption, absorption center mm -hmm. where he can be absorbed by the Jewish agency? Okay. Or he wants to go to his family somewhere in Israel, in Haifa, 
Jerusalem. Relatives uh, Relative. from all time. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, he is studying Hebrew with us. Okay. And on your coast, everything the, in your coast. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, everything is on our coast. Okay. And he gets some money from the government. Also. Okay. Also around one thousand dollar, one and a half thousand dollar. Yeah, pocket money for him. Pocket but money. Not, not the rela not the education thing. Not the education. And social worker are working mm. with us, psychological people, teaching, all mm. kind. Mm. And we help him to find his way, where he wants to go, what he wants to do. If he's a medical doctor, mm. we help him to go through the exams. Okay. If he's a nurse, if it's a nurse, then we help her to go to a hospital. It's a lot of, a lot of work. And we mm. do it, uh, you know, 100 years now. So the team is all over the world, not just inside. The team is all over the world. We have the main office in New York, mm -hmm. and we have everywhere people, mainly in Ukraine, and also in South America now. Many Jews want to return mm. from Venezuela because of the situation there, mm. Argentina, Peru, other countries. Amazing. And we still, as I said before, have uh, Jews in our countries still. Okay. Still, some, some countries still yeah. have Jews. Yeah. Like, but and how, how, how many, what is the countries the most people is coming from it right now? Or uh, two, three uh, countries? U Ukraine, okay, Ukraine is number one. Mm -hmm. uh, France after that. Mm. U.S. it's around 3,000.5 uh, a mm. year. In total, we are having uh, 300, no, sorry, 30,000 Jews a year. 30,000. 30, Jews a year, a year, in one year, in one year. Every year, every year, every year. people is coming, yeah. and your you, your agency is knowing all of them because sure. very much you are the person. And who. thousands are coming also from Ethiopia. Ethiopia, in a special yes. project, the Black Jews. The Black Jews that we found them after so many years, and they kept Judaism mm. far away in Africa. Yeah, you know, without cellular phone, without anything, the same Bible, the same language, wow. the same prayers, the same flag, the same desire to come back to Jerusalem. Wow. Can you imagine? That's amazing. And they are now back home, part of the the nation. Wow. So, uh, like, uh, partner with with the, the Christian organization. How you found uh, Isaiah 19? How what is what is that when you feel? Uh, they are having the passion of building the highway to bring them together. What's in your heart? Slowly, slowly, mm. we are beginning to understand mm. that evangelical Christians are really loving Israel. Oh, yeah. So because of the Bible mainly, because mm -hmm. of the history of Jesus and mm. his teaching. We didn't know it until now. It was not clear to us because mm. of the history with Christians. Okay. It was not so pleasant. Okay. But slowly, slowly, the Israeli government begin to understand that the Christian, the believers in Jesus in the U.S., in other countries, those who supported President Trump, for example, mm -hmm. are those who support Israel. Mm. And they are our best friends. Yes. So what I'm trying to do is to find those real people, real leaders that really love Israel without any conditions real love, as Jesus was teaching, mm -hmm. real love, no, no condition. And you I, find out. Yeah, I, I have to find them and choose them one by one very mm. carefully. Yes. Because in Israel there, are, there is still fear from Christianity. Mm. And we combine, we combine work together only with those that we trust and these two uh, pass the test. Uh, okay, <laughs> and they pass the test very well, guys, because I <laughs> attended Friday, last Friday, I'm seeing a, 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 a lady, she has a passion for, for the human uh, values. She's standing in the church, she's Jewish, and she's standing there giving the love for everybody, accepting without any condition, any religion is, belongs to the person, but she's standing there inside the church on Friday night, the day before the big day in Israel, you're going to mention that. What was the, the, the day? The embassy, the embassy, you're talking about? I'm talking about the, the, the day that I met you there. Yes. Yeah. 
it the was yes. the fundraiser. It was it was Friday and Friday, Friday Friday night, which is very holy for us. Yes, yes. It's Shabbat. Shabbat. Okay. And you don't go to a church. On Shabbat, okay. You go See? to a synagogue. See. Yeah. <laughs> and I was uh, standing there, and the cross is behind me, and Amen. I'm talking to Christian people. It was amazing. Amen. And that's that's how we can build the bridges, guys. How that's how you can just put the religion on a side and become a. a uh, a man become a human because become look at those people who have the needs even the people now right now maybe you are jewish you are christian or you are another religion but you are seeing how blessings this organization and this agency to bring the people to their land back and settle them also here in the, on the cross tv we have been helping a lot of people displaced from isis because they have been fleeing from isis we have been supporting 1400 families through that tv so we find a lot of very modern muslims they are need to support and and jewish need to support this cause as well you know that we are helping a lot of refugee from syria also in the border on the border, we even have a, the, the Syrian doesn't all like the this wounded one. people wow. Wow. in the border between Israel and Syria that are there are, is some camps. There are there are hospitals that the Israeli army made, and wow. we are taking care of them, and we take them to Israeli hospitals. Wow! We are doing the same in Greece. Greece. Okay. Greece with the refugees that are going to Greece, we are helping them there. The Jewish wow. agency and other Israelis. Israelis everywhere helping helping everyone. Wow. All the time. So I can witness, guys. I went to Israel uh, two times right now. Every time I went there, I feel the love. I feel the people who love each other. Even I, some, sometimes I, I, I so one time I was like uh, lo lost in the street and I need to get some direction and I find uh, the Jewish person, he said to me, I will never leave you until you, you be safe and you get the, metro, uh, the bus or something to go to your direction. They are so helpful. They are so open. So we need to clear this picture about uh, the Arabic people and those people trying to mess in the media the values of the people who are living there. We don't care about the politics. We are not here for politics, but we are here for the love, the, the human, human uh, values that we need to, to bring it. Uh, Dr. William, as, as well, he's doing some, some stuff in Egypt right now, and the Lord is opening the doors in Egypt. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in Egypt? Well, yes, I want you to know that God really loves each descendant of Abraham, both of his children, Ishmael and Isaac. And God really loves Israel, Syria, and Egypt. And God is opening doors that we can express to love through community outreach, through medical missions, and other outreaches to demonstrate the love of Jesus for everyone. There is no discrimination that separates the love of Yeshua for anyone. Yeshua loves all of the Middle East, just as he loves all the people around the world. That's the message, Dr. Joseph. Amen. It's a message of love. Thank you, Dr. Ryan. I asked the uh, Ambassador Deborah uh, about how she connects with you and how it's her, her luck to, to this relationship. I need you to I need to ask you the same question. How do you feel by connecting with a uh, uh, Jewish agency? I don't really have a choice because <laughs> the main day from God, what God says, what Holy Spirit says, that's what I do. Amen. Very simple. Amen. So you feel, you feel like you, are, you have a desire yes. to do that? Uh, well, God has a, a series of events. Probably today we don't have time to go through them, but mm. eventually I have to submit to well, the Holy Spirit says. Amen. And you have a schedule here. Uh, you have a schedule here in the United States of America. You're visiting some places. Yeah. How the people can help in this? Support every mm. Jew. Support the Jews to come back home. Okay. Uh, support us to, to do the Aliyah. Aliyah, okay. To get the Jews from everywhere that will be... What is the translation of Aliyah? Aliyah is to go up. To oh, go. yeah, Aliyah means when Jesus, upper room, maybe. Upper Aliyah, room, upper room. Aliyah is to go up to the upper room. Okay. Go up. Up. Oh, oh, Aliyah. Yah is the name of God. Oh, yeah. Aliyah is, you can say, go to God. Oh, okay. Go up to Jerusalem. It's all many mm. meanings. But the word Aliyah is to go up to Jerusalem and, and be absorbed. Okay. It's a Hebrew word yeah, for, uh, for immigration. Perfect. 
So again, I love this picture today. I, I feel like it's a historical meeting today. Just we just introducing what the 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 first level of what they are doing and i like you guys to support go ahead and do is uh, um, isaiah19.org go visit isaiah19.org you're going to find out how to support also go google uh, jewish agency and google uh, ambassador Deborah and uh, you will find it right away and Google is going to bring it to you the first thing because they are the most incredible uh, biggest organization doing this course so today my calling to you if you like this picture if you like the, the values that the Lord is putting in our heart to help the people take an action today and it's going to be the introduction on the cross tv and i need to welcome you anytime and even the weekly program about what how deep and we need we need to show them the pictures your activities how you are doing that also is there 19 and dr william indeed and uh, i i really need to thank you guys thank you very much for, so i'm gonna give the mic for one minute to each so the final message you look at the camera and and talk to the people Thank you, Christian friends, for loving us so much and support us. Please keep praying. We need your praying and you need your friendship. Thank you very much. Dr. William. Support the mandate of God to, to love Israel and to give from your heart to help the Jews return to Israel to fulfill the word of God. Well, thank you. And once again, it's been mentioned here today the important work that needs to take place. It's always a great thing when you can partner with God and he gives you that privilege and honor to do something that he's already blessed. Yes. Okay, we don't have to, Father, bless us, do this. It's, he's already blessed us and it's time for us to partner with him. And it is a moment that now God is putting on the heart of his people. Uh, this movement of bringing his people mm -hmm. back, a movement of gathering uh, the Christians in the church to come together for this Isaiah 19 uh, movement that he's creating on the earth. So join with us. You can go to Isaiah19ministries.org and uh, get more information. You can also help with Aliyah, and together we'll continue to make a difference for Israel, the Jewish people, and bless you and your own family there at home. Amen. Yes. My message God doesn't just love the Middle Eastern people or the Jews. God loves you. Mm. That's the fundamental message because God loves. God is love. The whole Bible is about love. Because of love, that's why we help. Because of love, that's why we are the same family. Mm. What a one new man because we are in his love. And so we, in this love, we help with Israel Agency. And if you go to, we have more information on our website, Isaiah19Ministries.org, then you can help. Especially thank Dr. Mm. Joseph oh, thank for all your work. I heard your testimony. I'm mm. so impressed. God is good. I love everybody to Thanks. also pull out your purse Amen. to support all the programs that you do in good. this uh, station. You know, God your station is here. Please do something because I know you are more blessed when you give because that's the story of my life. Thank you, Ambassador Mina. Thank you, everybody. I need to thank everybody here. I need to thank Ambassador Deborah. Thank you very much for giving us the time. I know your time is very valuable, but to sit here, it's a very historical thing for me. Dr. William Gray, thank you for connecting me with those very precious people that they have the values. Pastor Mark, and we're willing to hear Spanish things from you. <laughs> and also Mandarin language from Ambassador Mina. Guys, blessed my people, Egypt, my handicraft, Assyrian, I my, and my inheritance, Israel. We're all coming together. Isaac has to meet Ishmael. They have to meet each other. Mark this. They have to come together. In Jesus' name, I'm praying that's going to be happened. And I love the values. I love the human values. And if you love it, just send your donation to the uh, Jewish agency, Isaiah19.org or the Cross TV, and we make sure that those families will come back to their home safe and we support them until they stand on their feet. Bless you and see you again. Bye-bye.